talking today with uh, Chip Peterson and Emily Bruneman from Fullerton Aquatic Swim Team. They're actually uh, coming to us right now from Fort Lauderdale, and uh, they're going to be competing this weekend in the USA Swimming Open Water National Championships. Uh, good evening, you guys. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, yeah, doing, doing awesome. <laughs> doing, doing really well. Um, so... Tell me a little bit, how's training been going uh, with Coach Urbanchek at FAST? Um, it's been going really well. We just came down um, when, last Wednesday from 18 days at altitude in Colorado Springs. So that was, he was kicking our butt up there. Um, but it's been going really well. I'm happy to be down here and still have a couple of days before the race to get acclimated and everything. For me personally, I've actually uh, been a little under the weather for a while um, and I'm still feeling a little bit like I'm on the road to recovery instead of where I want to be, but at the same time, I'm going to race tough. I'm here to here to try to try to win it, so, you know, <laughs> it, it's okay that a couple of months of bad training isn't going to stop me from that. Tell me a little bit about the training camp up in Colorado Springs. What kind of things were you guys doing? Um, I mean, we were doing the same type of training that we would do at home. We just wanted to get the altitude effects. Um, so we would we didn't do triples or anything like that. We just did regular doubles and stayed on the same schedule. Um, we worked with Lori Briggs, who's the USA Swimming um, dry land expert. And we worked with her three times a week, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was it was really good. It was good to kind of get somewhere secluded and just kind of focus on training for those 18 days. How does it feel coming down to sea level? I mean, can you guys start to feel the effect right now? Are you feeling fresh and light and uh, lots of energy? Definitely have lots of energy. Need a couple more. I'm, I'm waiting until Friday to feel the fresh part. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I know we've all heard it so many times. Uh, it doesn't matter how you're feeling during the taper. It's how you feel the day of the race. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a real big weekend, obviously, with the top two uh, men and women uh, each qualifying for Shanghai. And then the top 10 at Shanghai going to be making the Olympics. Um, you know, I mean... Does that add extra pressure to you guys? Does it add, are you excited? What, what does sort of the, I guess, the magnitude of the event bring to you? Um, well, I'm really excited about it. I think this is the first time in a long time I can look back and say, you know, I couldn't have done anything different. And it's kind of peaceful knowing that going into the race that there's nothing else I could have done. And the race is going to be what it is. I'm going to give it everything I have and race all I've got. And um, I'm really excited about it, and this is my first time doing open water for the Olympics, so it's exciting. I this isn't my first time. Um, <laughs> I was one of the two Americans who were who made it to Worlds in 2008 in the same uh, selection process, and then didn't make it to the Olympics uh, in 2008. So it's a little bit of redemption, I guess, for me, if I were, were able to do this this time around. Um, and, you know, it's, it's not, I, I don't think it's an added pressure. I've been to so many open water nationals now that it feels like the same thing. It's exciting. Um, but I know what it, I know what is in store. Chip, I had an opportunity to watch you compete at the Tiburon Mile back in uh, what were, was that in October? I think it was October of last year. Yeah. And you, you you had a such a phenomenal race. You really set a good line. It sounds like it seems like you really just swam your own race. Uh, is that kind of your strategy as you uh, enter into this event, or do you feel like you're going to be watching Mark and some of the young guys uh, and see kind of what? techniques and tactics they're going to be going after? Um, I really think that had I been coming into this feeling really healthy, training really well, I would say I would be completely doing my own thing on this, that I, I would know exactly what my plan was. But right now, I have to say, I really am basing my race strategy off of what everyone else is going to do in the race. Um, 
I'm really going to hang back and try to conserve energy and uh, just really race tough at the end of the 10K uh, and be and just play position throughout the entire race to try to be where I need to be in order to touch first at the end. Do you work on any specifics with regard to feeding? Or any other unique aspects that uh, are incorporated in your uh, in your pool workouts? Um, we do a lot of long swimming, <laughs> so that helps with the endurance and energy throughout the race. Um, I don't we I don't really think we work on feeding too much and stuff like that. Um, I personally eat during practice every day. I think that honestly, just building up the ability to eat and swim fast at the same time because some people really can't do that um have a hard time with stomaching food during training sessions or during a race so i think that that just every single day eating something helps a little bit with that um and like she said probably it's been kind of once a week we do a six thousand meter kind of straight swimming um where it just gets faster as we go along and it's supposed to kind of mimic what a race would feel like. It's going to be about two hours and plus or minus, uh, depending upon the length of the course and the intensity that you guys bring to the race. Big question everybody has, what do you think about? <laughs> <laughs> I sing to myself a lot. <laughs> kind of have conversations with myself. What am I going to do later? <laughs> I'm very present in the race. <laughs> I actually am always thinking about where other people are, um, who's around me, what they're doing. I'm very like visual as well. I'm looking along the shore. I'm looking at people lying on the beach and the beach umbrellas and whatever else is out there, the buildings. Um, you guys are veteran open water swimmers and have had great success. What advice or recommendations do you have for people who are either just entering the sport or looking to get into the sport? Make sure you can handle swimming in the ocean or lake or river, wherever you decide to swim. There's creatures there, and being knowing that they're there and stuff like that and not freaking out I think is really important. And then um, putting in the time and the energy to train for it because it's not a short event. And... If you really want to do it, then it's it's going to take work. Um, but I think you have to enjoy what you're doing. I, yeah, I was going to say that one. I, I think that you have to go into it with a positive mental attitude and think that it's a fun thing to be swimming in the ocean rather than a scary thing. Or you know. Um, and as far as wanting to get into it, I, I think that um, as many swimmers as – especially the U.S. can have, try it out, see whether they like it, because it is a little bit different than pool swimming, and different people are very successful in open water despite not being as successful pool swimmers. So I think that it um, lends itself to at least giving it a try if you're interested. Chip, Emily, I really want to thank you guys for taking the opportunity to speak with us this evening, and we really wish you all the best. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much.